Hey guys, Jacoby here today. I'm back with another review. This time it is a two-in-one review of Shang-Chi and Wenwu from the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings movie that is coming out in September later this year, which I'm also very excited for. But yeah, here we have Shang-Chi and Wenwu. I know that Kevin Feige pronounces it Shang-Chi or something like that, but I'm going to say Shang-Chi. That's always what I've called them. Uh, hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. But yeah, here we have Shang-Chi and Wenwu looking awesome. I'm really happy to have these figures finally. It's it's like these were just revealed, like officially revealed earlier today, but they were leaked like uh maybe 2 3 weeks ago. So, yeah, it's it, this is a pretty quick time for people to get their figures after the leak and or release. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome to have. But before I get into the figures, I'm going to go into their boxes really quick. So here we have the two boxes. There's not much different between the two because obviously they're pretty much the same box, just different artwork and different names. But yeah, here we have the Shang-Chi logo with the Shang-Chi um, label and the Wenwu label over here. We have the promo image for Shang-Chi himself over here and then Wenwu. So those are looking pretty cool. Same thing on the other side. Looks amazing. Nothing on the bottom. We got the top, same logo on top here. And then we have the Build-A-Figure Mr. Hyde right there, which I, do, I, I don't plan on building him. Because I have no interest in comic figures anymore, or not as much as before, at least not all of them. So I, I will be focusing on the MCU figures, just in case you did not know that. So no reviews for these two. I don't have these two yet, but definitely know Mr. Hyde. Definitely know these two. These two will hopefully be soon. Uh, I don't. I just don't have them yet, but yeah. Anyways, here is the promo art in full for Shang-Chi himself, with the bio posit if you'd like to read it. And then here we have Wen Wu's. Promo image looking pretty cool. And once again, his bio pause if you'd like to read it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the boxes. I will now get into the figures. So like I was saying, I do not plan on building the Mr. Hyde figure whatsoever. I have zero plans on that, but I will show off the build a figure pieces they come with anyway. So Shang-Chi himself, he comes with the leg for Mr. Hyde. One of the legs, not much to it. It's just a green suit with the um, green shoes. There's a little bit of detail on that. Hold on, let me move my lamp really quick. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you could see that well, but there is there is some sculpting detail on the shoe There's a little bit of hole. So that looks pretty cool. Not much to it though. It's just a green suit I don't know if it's a reuse of the previous uh, Build the figure suit figures. I, I mean it looks pretty the, pretty much the same to me But just green obviously instead of like the blue or something But yeah, there's that and then when comes with the arm and a cane uh, I'm gonna go over the arm first. Here is the hand of that arm with like a little bit of scarring on the uh this part of the hand i don't know what that's called but yeah there there that is um got the fingernails once again the green suit pretty much the same as any other green suit you'd ever find on a marvel legend so not much to that and then here we have his cane or his walking stick thing cane i'm gonna call it a cane but yeah here it is uh not much to it either just brown and black plastic uh not much to be said there's a little bit of scratches molded into it so that's a that's a cool detail I like that. So yeah, not much to that. So let's get on to their accessories. Now, Shang-Chi and Wenwu do come with pretty similar accessories. Um, and by that, I mean like they come with their own weapon. So here's Shang-Chi's weapon. It's like a little staff thing with two ends to it. So that's cool. Uh, I like the sculpting on each ends. I'm pretty sure they're the same on each end. Uh, there's like a thing coiling around it with a design. So that's kind of cool. And then we got this thing wrapping around it on each end. And then just this, like, weird stick. Just it, I mean, there's not much to it. I mean, there's a little uh, paint thing on there. I'm sure I could scratch that off later on. But, yeah, there that is. Not much to that. And then we have Wenwu's weapon, which is... There, there's more to it. There's more to it. It looks like a crowbar axe-looking thing. I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know anything about this movie or what, like, their uh, weapons of choice will be, but... I'm sure they'll do more in the movie than these figures. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see for that in September. But yeah, this one does look pretty cool. It's silver and black. Uh, the only black on it is this black handle. But yeah, there's a little bit more detail to it. There's a little bit more going on. Got this hook looking part. Got this looking pretty cool. So yeah, not much to it. I'm, I'm guessing this would be a spear and something. Uh, maybe a little bit sharper in the movie. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it does look pretty dull on the, on the figure version. So... Who knows? Who knows what this is? Yeah, that looks pretty cool, I guess. And then another thing to add on to their similarities in accessories is their hands. They each come with uh, four sets of hands, I think. Maybe they do come packaged with these hands. So Shang-Chi comes with his regular holding hand, 
So I guess that's for his staff thing. And then Wenwu comes with the fisted hands, because I guess that's just what he's more likely to do with the ten rings. Yeah, they each come with pretty similar hand sets. So Shang-Chi comes with this open hand. I think we've seen this multiple times before with the iron fist. So yeah, there you go. You have that. Not much to it, just flesh color. He comes with this, like, snapping-looking hand gesture thing. Uh, I don't know what it's meant to be. I, I mean, we'll find out in the movie, obviously, but yeah, here we have that. So his finger and his thumb are just connected. And then for Wenwu, uh, we have this one. It's like a dragon claw looking thing. I don't know. Just his two fingers sticking up. I don't think we've seen either of these gestures before in Marvel Legends uh, before. So that's pretty cool. It's new for the movie, I guess. Or maybe we've seen this one with Iron Fist. I don't know. Something very similar with Iron Fist. But yeah, those are the accessories. Now let's get onto the figures themselves. Now, the reason I am doing a two-in-one review of Wenwu and Shang-Chi is because these are family family characters, I guess. I don't know. I was about to say family figures, but they are family characters. He is the son of Wenwu, and Wenwu is the Mandarin, like the actual, actual Mandarin in the MCU. So that's pretty cool, in case you did not know that. It's not a, it's not a spoiler, really, because they were explaining that uh, when they revealed the movie. So, yeah, I guess... He's the Mandarin. He's the Mandarin's son. This is the good guy. This is the bad guy. I don't think this is the Mandarin's final suit, though. I think this is like a uh, a past-looking suit or something. Because from the trailers, it does look like there will be a lot of flashbacks to a lot of different eras. So maybe maybe we'll see all of his different suits. But this is the one we get in figure form first. So that's pretty cool. I really like his suit. I'm not going to lie. I said this in the um, leaks video that I did uh, maybe two weeks ago. And I, I did like a suit. I'm a big fan of the blue. Blue is my favorite color. That's why my channel is based around blue. And I like it. I like his suit a lot. There's not much uh, Mandarin-ish going on here. Because in the comics, uh, it was more of a green, huge suit like it was in Iron Man 3. And that was a pretty good, accurate suit. But by the looks of the trailer, we will be getting a suit similar to that for this guy. So hopefully we get a figure version of that later on at maybe after the movie comes out maybe after like it's publicly known that he's the mandarin or something like that i don't know we'll you'll just have to wait and see then we have shang chi his design is also really cool he has like from here below it's pretty basic it's just black pants with some cool shoes the pants have not much going on pretty cool texture though got the shoes i like them got the laces <clears throat> but the torso is the the, the best part of the shang chi figure it's really nicely done really well sculpted really well painted as well it's it's very clean on my copy i think i haven't found any uh problems or at least big big problems but yeah that looks pretty cool they did really clean job on the line work so that's really nice um i'm sure there's something missing uh, yeah here it's like slightly off but it's it's not huge it's on his back anyway so barely gonna see it but yeah i really like the texturing done on shang chi's uh torso piece it's really nice and you have his sleeves rolled up. This is a pretty cool costume, I'm not going to lie. Um, I thought it was very simple compared to all the other leaked concept images of Shang-Chi's suit. But after the trailer came out and, you know, seeing this figure and all the set images, it's starting to grow on me. I, I like it. It's it's a nice suit. It looks good on the actor. Speaking of the actor, the head sculpt looks great. Um, it looks just like Simu Liu. I think that's how you say his name. Looks just like him. The photoreal technology is it's very good for uh, Marvel Legends. So, yeah, really impressed with that. Looks really good. Looks just like him. Uh, there's not much to his hair, just black hair styled in the way he does in the movie. But, yeah, the face is just pretty much just like him. Hold on, let me move this lamp. But, yeah, there you go. Just like Seema Liu. So, that's awesome. And then, as for the Mandarin Wenwu over here. Like I was saying, though, I like the blue. Nice texturing all around. I like the armor piece. Shoulder pad looks cool. I feel like this is a bit of a bright, bright blue, but I like it. I don't know. Kind of kind of stands out way too much, in my opinion, with all the black. But, yeah. We got this lighter blue for his um <laughs> thing. I don't know what you call this. But, yeah. Thing wrapped around his legs. Got a lighter blue with uh, like a texture on it. So, that's kind of nice. That's neat. Got the boots, looking cool. Black pants, like Shang-Chi. Got this uh, armor piece once again. So yeah, he just has a bunch of armor with his sleeves rolled up once again. 
They got the 10 rings here looking pretty cool. Uh, the 10 rings don't have much going on with them. It's just um, gold painted, I think. I think it's painted. I don't know. But yeah, it's just like gold, gold rings around his arms. So that's cool. Really nice detailing all around his torso. Once again, the face sculpt though. Really nice. I think it looks just like the actor. I don't know his uh I don't know his name. I, I don't have much knowledge on him, but I, I think it looks just like him as well. But yeah, looks really good. Let me know in the comments if you also think this looks just like the guy. Once again, I don't know his name, so <laughs> my bad, but you know, I think it looks really good. But yeah, this photo real technology on the head sculpts is very, very good and helps out the Marvel Legends so much. But yeah, I will get into their articulation right now. One quick thing I forgot to mention before I get into the articulation. Look at this. There is a 10 rings logo on his belt buckle. I did not realize that. Like I realized that directly after I ended the recording. But yeah, that looks really nice. That's a cool detail. I mean, yeah, it, it would be pretty obvious in the in the movie form. But the fact they put it on the figure, that's that's really cool. So yeah, you got some belt details. So that's a really nice touch. Got the 10 rings logo. That's cool. So for the articulation of the Shang-Chi figure, his head can go down this much, can go up this much, can do a 360 like always, can do the side-to-side -side motion now. I think all figures are on a dumbbell joint, so I think that's cool. Before, it was pretty iffy, but I think now it works out pretty well. So that's kind of cool. I like that. And then his arms can go all the way around like always, up this much, can do the 360, got the bicep swivel, uh, double-jointed elbows on each side wrist rotates this way where the wrist hinge goes up and down got the ab or sorry <laughs> the ab crunch goes back this much goes forward this much so that's a that's a lot of uh motion there got the waist rotation his leg can kick out this much can kick back this much go out this much even with this thing hindering it uh it does bend so that's pretty good i uh, got the thigh cut double jointed knees kind of stiff outside of the box but you can get it so yeah there we go Goes pretty far down. I like that. Got the ankle pivot. Toes can point down this much and can point up that much. So yeah, that's the articulation on the Shang-Chi. Then for the articulation on the Wenmu, his head can go down this much. Not as much as Shang-Chi. Uh, but yeah, he can go down this much. Can look up this much. Can do the 360 like always. Side to side motion once again on a dumbbell joint. I don't think it's as effective as the Shang-Chi though. Uh, as you could tell, the Shang-Chi can look down way further than he can. So yeah, that's a uh, little thing, but not major. Now his left arm, I believe, can go around 360, but because of the shoulder pad over here, it his right arm can't really do that. I mean, he can, but not as upwards as this one, obviously, because there is the shoulder pad. So you don't want to break that off, but yeah, his this arm can go up this much, and this arm can go up this much, pretty much the same. Uh, but yeah, both have bicep swivels, double jointed elbows, wrist rotation and wrist hinge right there. You got the diaphragm joint. No, um, no waist rotation under this thing. So that's kind of sad, but it's okay. Uh, his legs will be very hindered due to this thing. So it can only kick out this far forward and not much really back. I would say a, a little bit, a little bit back, not at all to the side because of obviously this piece. So, yeah, that's that's a big downside to the articulation. I'm sure you could somehow make, like, a cloth thing if you really wanted to, but I, I don't think I'm going to do that. But, yeah, got the thigh cut down there. Got double-jointed knees. Can't really be put to use because of this thing, but if you bend it backwards, you could see double-jointed knees right there. No boot rotation, even though he has boots. So that's a thing. And then the toes can point out this much, can go up this much with ankle pivot. So that's cool. That's the articulation for both of these figures. So yeah, guys, that was my review on the Marvel Legends Shang-Chi and Wenwu from the Shang-Chi movie Wave. Let me know what you thought of the figures and the review down in the comments below because I am trying to speed the uh, the pace up the reviews a little bit, especially since this was a two-in-one. I'm trying to improve on reviews. So let me know what you thought of the review if you made it this far. I don't think many of you do, to be honest, but yeah, let me know what you thought. I, I highly recommend these figures. These are great figures. They look great. They move great, especially Shang-Chi. Not much the Wenwu, to be honest, because, you know, obviously all the restrictions that his armor gives him but i really do recommend the shang chi he looks awesome the faces look just like the actor so if you want the actor's faces go ahead get these if you want the shang chi obviously get them you know your choice i really do recommend them though they're great no downsides to them at all except for the movement on the other one but yeah i really like them i'm really excited for this movie let me know what you thought of these figures and the comments below 
Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for all the support, and I will see you guys in the next video.